Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Monday, May the 1st, May Day. These are the charts of the day. Well, the markets had a mixed session, um, and uh, but many stocks we followed did well today, including some of the day trades. I want to show you what I feel are actionable type stocks. ETLX, um, Atlas Lithium, been trending ever since it broke out of the coil <clears throat> on the 10th. And now three weeks later, you can see it's gone from literally from 16 three quarters to 39 and the trend says 50 50 freeze your target this may accelerate Adamera broke out we put a swing on it it's I've been up every day since it looks like a stock that has designs of nine nine three quarters and even 11 11 and a half it's on, on a short-term basis long-term decline tops I broke it ABDL had a pop today on some positive news it, it jumped uh, down 31 to 12 and a half percent 4.2 million uh, stock look right here. I think it's going to be a $14 stock short term. The MEA, after breaking out and exploding in March with a breakaway gap, then pulled back and coiled. Today it jumped to 12 or 7%, but it looks to me like it's about to go. 40, 45 are your near term targets. Kaba also broke out of a coil yesterday and today followed through nicely. There is some resistance at the target of 12 and three quarters. Your next target, 15. CDLX also coming through resistance going back months, and you can see that the target would be the February high for a retest around the nine dollar level, then ten, then and a half. Maybe we're gonna look at October 13. V bottom breakaway gap platform breakout. I like it. <clears throat> GRTX also key resistance broken today going back um, a year. Today it popped from uh, 274 to 308. Up 35 cents, that's about 12 and three quarter percent on over a million shares. Probably pick it up as it goes out. I mean, next target probably about three and three quarters and five. HIMS had a beautiful rising channel. Take a look at the recent action. This wedge formed today, it popped 41 cents, three and a half percent. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the highest close we've seen all the way back, believe it or not. 2021. Now, this means to me that we're going to come up through and take out the $12 level, which is right at 12, 1205. And your next target is 13, three quarters, 14, 15, three quarters, 16. IDYA popped today after exploding last week and pulling back, forming a wedge. Today, it popped right back up. Going from 1811 to 2008, finishing right there up 182, a 10% gain. Looking for a retest of 21, three quarters, 24 next. Have Firex maybe coming out of the coil we've been talking about for two weeks. It sure looks like a stock that's ready to go up uh, about 5% today, but I'm looking for much more. My targets are going to be 6, 7, and 10. Immunogen, yesterday's big pop, the big volume was a breakaway. You see the declining top side was broken right there. Um, there's a double, triple top up in this range around 6.5, and, and then 7.5, three quarters. Those are your targets. MVT, one of my top picks of the year, finally breaking back out again. Today's action was uh, distinctive as it jumped um, $1.45 or 9%. Buying picked up to the best in a couple of weeks. I'm now looking for a move to get it to 19, 20 and a half, and then 23.4. INBX also came coming through the declining top line. It goes back six months. Today's pop of 261 and 12.5%, an increasing volume tells me that we may have room to run into the 27 zone. MGNX also popped out of a wedge, it appears, or a coil. Here's what I'm talking about, this coil here. A test may be imminent around 770. You get through that, you're looking at nine and a half. Nanox, an explosive move, a monster buying for this stock. 35 million is unheard of for this stock. It never traded that as far as I know, even though it trades a heavy buy. Heaviest volume in its history, and the FDA approval. Jumping from six to almost 12, nearly doubling, finishing 10.45 up uh, 71%. On, uh, as I said, 35 million shares. Looking for more upside. I'm looking for about 14.90 to 15 for uh, the next target. OCUP popped about 15% today, or 77 cents. Uh, it looks to me like your target would be six and three quarters and seven and three quarters going forward. PCVX came out of a deep, uh, broke out about a week and a half ago. Formed a little flag in here, held the moving averages and popped sharply, jumping 531 at 12.5% today. 
Mine was 1.9 million, but I think and, and from how it closed, this is going higher. Look for mid 50s. PPSI had a big run in early uh, April, pulled back for a couple of days, held support. Today it snapped back 65 cents, about 12.9%, looking for a retest of six and three quarters, and then seven and three quarters. Tonight I broke out of a base last week. We showed you that one and pulled back last couple of days, snapping right back again. My target is seven and a half and eight and three quarters. Uh, UIAC came out of uh, the rising channel at or near key resistance. We get to the five and a quarter range, you might see something around seven. And finally, Zixi, big day today. 1.1 million, biggest volume in a long time. And an update, especially since January. But it popped from 11.15 to 14.42, settled back a buck, close up 194, 17%. As I said, volume increased to the best I've seen on an update in quite a while, uh, four months. The next chart, your next target would be uh, three tests of 14 and three quarters, and then you look at the 17. And remember, this is a tech trader swing. That's it for me and, and for the charts of the day video tonight, everybody. Have a great evening.